Hey, this is Anthony, it's Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our fall 2013 motorcycle helmet buying guide, available at Revzilla.com. So in this video, I'm gonna break down two sets of helmets. The first set of helmets, which you can see in front of me, are my favorite new models for the latter half of 2013. You've seen us roll out guide series in the spring. This is part of our fall guide series. On the second table, we're gonna dive into my favorite graphic picks, which have just been released as well. And if you wanna skip ahead, you can click right here and do so. Now, when it comes to my choices, they're subjective. They're my favorites. What I'd love for you to do is click here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, and debate the these helmets healthfully with me in the comments section. And as always, everything I break down today is going to have a full detailed breakdown video. And remember, this is part of our fall 2013 guide series available at revzilla.com guides. Now starting right in front of me, the key helmet on the table, and I'm gonna make everybody mad when I say this, but this is my favorite of what's new Fall 2013. This is the AGV Corsa helmet. This is a long awaited replacement for the GP Tech. This helmet is the same helmet as the AGV Pista, developed in conjunction with Valentino Rossi at the 90th percentile, but really what you're getting is tri-composite, carbon fiber, aramid, and fiberglass fibers, really in a brand new shell that's dramatically different from a venting scheme, from a profile standpoint, and really from a fit that's going to range because you can tune it right up in the top, in the crown, from between a neutral to an intermediate oval head shape. Remember, check out that full carbon fiber pista, but this is the Corsa, and it's gonna start just over that $700 mark. Again, stealing all of that race-bred MotoGP technology. Moving to its left, this is the Shark Raw. Again, we saw the Bell Rogue change the industry with the aggressive open face design. Shark Raw is a different flavor, very Street Fighter inspired. This is the Soyuz graphic. It's gonna start around that $260 mark. I consider it an intermediate oval, intermediate to neutral oval head shape, but again, removable goggle, removable front cowl. Again, this is the matte green and red version. Really different helmet coming from Shark out of France this year. Check it out at Revzilla.com. Moving over to my right, next up we have the Biltwell Gringo. Clean and retro in its design, a no frills option for a lot of the V-twin or chop crowd, but again, you can ride it with a bubble shield, you can ride it with a goggle intact. This is the titanium colorway. I've spent a ton of time riding this helmet on my own Sportster. I really like it. For around the $150 mark, they've done an excellent job really creating a style and a protective fit that's going to work for a lot of riders looking for a simple helmet that carries through the style of what they're going for. Moving further to my right, this is one of the helmets that I'm even more excited about. This is the Icon Airframe Ghost Carbon, part of their fall collection. Ghosted carbon fiber, Rubitone finish, you see the translucent vents, but they come with tack shields. Again, around the $500 mark, again, a new flavor on an airframe, which is gonna be more of that neutral to round fitment. There's also a variant helmet, which has the same graphical scheme that covers it through. In my opinion, it's kind of a mix between a new graphic and a brand new helmet, but they've changed enough that I wanted to include it here today. Again, very, very cool for the hardcore icon riding elite. And then flying back over to my left here on the table is the Aero. Aviator 2.1, handmade in Italy, intermediate oval head shape, very aggressive pro-level race helmet. The claim to fame on this helmet is it comes in around the two and a half pound mark for DOT and ECE rated on top of a helmet that's very well designed, emergency cheek pad removal system, Again, pro level here, but extreme lightweight is really my favorite selling point on the Aero Aviator. And remember, we have a detailed breakdown video on all of these. Check them out at Revzilla.com. So diving into my fall 2013 favorite graphics, I'm gonna start with my Schubert. This is my SR1 Stealth Red graphic. Now, Schubert has taken the SR1, which we know is Apex Predator, top of the food chain, a super aggressive race helmet, and now they've added pops of color, and I like it. It speaks to my inner Batman. You'll notice here on the Stealth Red, it's not just red Schubert logos, it's actually red vent covers. The foils and the vents are all red and they're really menacing, very ominous. There's an orange version, there's also a blue. You're looking north of eight bones for this bad boy. Watch the detailed breakdown video. There's a lot of technology in actually all of these helmets. But again, I like it because it's different and Schubert tends to be a bit more conservative, but I like that they're being blood red aggressive here. Moving right along. You ride defiant. We saw it brand new for this year. Optimized for naked bikes. We know this helmet. Remember, intermediate to neutral oval head shape. This is the base graphic, the base orange, and there's also a base frosted white. I like it. It's clean. It's classic. I know it's staying a little bit with my matte black here. This is a frost coating, and you'll see how the orange pops kind of come in here along the chin bar, and you'll see as it turns all the way around, if I kind of rotate it there under the translucent vent, 
very, very classic design from Arai that's gonna look great on a naked bike or a fared bike. Moving right along to my right. This is the Icon Air Mata Volare helmet. Now the Volare was a brand new helmet for 2013 as well. Really long oval, race oriented shape here. Polycarb helmet, you're looking sub $300. The Volare graphics, one of my favorite. This is red, white, and blue. There's like seven colors. There's high vis as well. But notice how they've incorporated a lot of the reflectivity here on the side. You can see it on the back of the helmet. It ties in with the spoiler and the head shape. Again, very aggressively oriented sport style helmet, but this is going to be the red, white, and blue Volare. And again, one of my favorite graphics is the fast graphic from the Fall Icon 2013 collection. Now we're back to Matt Black. I know you guys don't yell at me, but again, if you don't agree with me, love to hear your comments. Click here, subscribe, and leave me those comments. This is the AGV AX8 Evo Naked Helmet. Why is it naked? Because they took that DS version, pulled the top peak off, and now you have a very aggressively styled, in my opinion, another badass helmet for this year. I think Ducati, Diablo right away, Multistrada, Monster, Naked Bikes, and I think there's gonna be an outlaw contingent of naked bike riders or V-twin riders that absolutely love this helmet. Claims the fame, intermediate oval head shape, super lightweight, like literally three pounds nearly even on this helmet. And if you put a dark smoke shield on it, it be completely goes into that other realm of something really gnarly and different if it suits your style on the bike. Now I'm gonna go a complete departure from the AGV AX8 Evo Naked, and we're gonna go over to my Bell Moto 9. I always like to include a dirt helmet, I'm not a huge dirt bike rider, but I love what Bell's done with their new graphics. All the Moto 9s now are carbon fiber, and you can see it represented here as I rotate it around. This is the Tagger scrub graphic in between that five and $600 range. A lot of really cool tribal stuff coming out of the Bell Camp. They're really nailing their graphics lately. It almost has a hand-painted look to it, and you can see that carbon fiber that pokes out from underneath. Really well done, and the foil Bell logo that has a light reflectivity to it, very, very cool as well. Now again, that's my fast pass at my favorite graphics for the fall 2013 launch. I've already told you that I wanna hear you debate these with me. Me, but really watch your full detailed breakdown videos and make sure you check out the rest of our fall 2013 gear guides at revzilla.com slash guides. As always, you should read your rider reviews on these, watch the full detail and breakdown videos. Give us a shout if you need any help. See us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our fall 2013 motorcycle helmet buying guide. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.